remember, sir. Always remember your birth, your death. In between these two, how you live your life, it is your responsibility. Don't you think? Don't you think you are the co-author of your destiny? You are the co-author of your destiny. Your tomorrow is created by you. In second year, you know that if you work hard, your third year will be better than your second year. Why do you need to fail in few exams and realize the importance of a failure? I think the responsibility of a painter is the responsibility of the painting responsibility lies with the painter. It is the responsibility. And I am telling my own life because I have taken some of the greatest calculated lists of my life. I was also a very ordinary engineering student. For me, engineering student was more or less like there was no great inspiration of going to an engineering college. It just went off like that. After final year, like every other student, I got a job in Infosys. I got a job into Infosys. But one lingering question which I always used to ask myself is, what is the use of an education if it teaches history but does not teach how to create history? Do we teach science or do we teach the science of living? Do we teach students how to insert a floppy onto the disk? Or do we teach students how to be happy in life? Subject will be forgotten, sir. Subject will be for forgotten. Subject plus will never be forgotten. Subject plus will never be forgotten. So the day I took up, I decided that I will give a try and I will create my own path in education. Trust me, life has never been easy for me right from 2007 till today. Life has never been easy for me. And I have gone through all the most difficult phases of my life where every second person whom I met, he used to tell me, A for Apple, A for Anil. And I have gone through all that insults in my first two to three years. But I told myself, am I disobedient? Yes, I am disobedient in my life. If I give the my brush to someone and if I allow someone to paint it the way he want and if I start gripping it, then I am not living my life. I think if I give my brush to someone, I am the consequence receiver. I am the consequence receiver. I allowed someone to write my own script and I cannot start gripping. I told myself in 2007, I told my parents, give me the brush. Give me the brush. I want to write the life in the way I wanted to write. Even if I do mistake, right? All the people who became super successful in life, all the people, they disobeyed the current norms. How did Christianity came to emerge? Jesus Christ, the end of Jesus Christ became the beginning of Christianity. How did Buddhism came into picture? Gautama Buddha, Gautama Buddha's father wanted him to be a king. But he said that the person whom we worship as the guru of meditation, right? He said to his father, no, I will not be a king. I will create a new path. Buddhism came into picture because Buddha disobeyed his father. Christianity came into picture because the Jesus Christ, what he taught, sir, entire life, what he taught, nothing but compassion, nothing but Jainism came into picture after Mahavira. What we call Mahatma Gandhi's civil disobedience. Civil disobedience. All the people who are there in a society, one person believed that, no, 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 the current rules, whatever you are following, that are not the right rules. I think we have to create new rules and ensure that everyone in the society believed in these new rules. And he went ahead and created a new path in society. Please remember, disobedience, for me it is not a negative word. For me it is a positive word. Generally, Teachers don't like students who disobey them. Whom does teacher like? The students who always says, yes sir, yes sir. All the students who ask doubts, teachers don't. Teachers think that no, they are disobeying. Disobeying, for me, is a positive word. Please understand the meaning between the lines. I am saying, be a psychologically adult child. I went and told my father, Appa, I want to be a teacher. Appa, I want to be a teacher. And I told my Appa, I am made up of teachers, I want to be a teacher. My appa replied back. You want to be a teacher? 
what teachers will get other than an emotional happiness what they will get i said that is what i want in my life that is what i want in my life and from that day till today from that day till today all the people if they look up to me in teaching if they say that anil sir signature is excited to be a teacher i believed in something and i stick to it for six and a half years sir for six and a half years my first job as a teacher was 8430 rupees and i entered into that profession and i said i just want to teach i want to teach and all that all that struggles every time right after the class all that other teachers used to leave the class leave and say that no no class over you have to go to home and i always from that day i always used to say that five more minutes i will stay there and i will teach them one value one value and i'm telling to you i'm the most happiest person in my at least my own life i live a life which is absolutely nothing but every day morning 6 o'clock class is there 5 o'clock itself i wake up and i get ready all the passionate teachers will be able to correlate with this line i don't know whether one student will come ten students will come thousands will come two thousands will come the enthusiasm with which i take the class at morning 6 o'clock or evening 8:30 absolutely there is no difference